How big of a task does the future Arsenal manager have to maintain this current Arsenal team? It's an interesting question because when I look at Arsenal Football Club, you look at their front line, which is fantastic. They've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. You said he's the fastest player in world football right now. They've got Ozil on the new contract. Things are looking good. Lacazette, we're not sure if he's going to stay or go. But the further back we go is where issues seem to be. They've lost Oxlade-Chamberlain, obviously. They might lose Ramsey, who's got one year left on his contract. They might lose Wilshire, who's stalling on a current contract. That leaves them with, what, El Elneny and Shaka. And then you look at the defence, which hasn't really impressed a lot of people. Then you look at the two goalkeepers, Ospina and Cech, your former teammate of many years, both one year left on their contracts, both perhaps not at their peak of their powers as goalkeepers. I mean, this is a big task. And combined with the fact we're here in Ports, Arsenal only have 50 million to spend. And yeah. they've got to pay a new manager. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a tough recruitment job for somebody, isn't it? Uh, he's going to earn his money there, as they say. Uh, yeah, I think maybe we might see more of what we've seen today then. Going forward, we might see some more youth get a chance at Arsenal. It's not a bad thing, as long as you've got a right, the right kind of old heads around that. So maybe it's about recruiting a couple of senior players, players who have been there, seen it and done it, got a T-shirt around mm. the younger players. And sometimes that can, that can work. The right mix happened at Man United over the years. It's happened at a lot of other clubs. And if that's the way they have to go, then you know, that might be the way they're going to have to do it. But that's also going to be a long-term project, most likely. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you, you, success, unless you're spending the big money, can't happen overnight. So you, I mean, we've seen the top six teams in, in you know, Man City spend the most money. They, they won the league. They won the league. So I think you know, money has a big say in football nowadays as well. What's your take on Arsenal and their team, their squad and what they have to do? I mean, Arsenal is, uh, yeah, used to br bring in uh, young players through the, through the academy ranks. And they always have uh, good young players like what we saw tonight. And yeah. And for the new manager coming in, I mean, he will be he will be happy that they have good players, good young players, but he will need, uh, I mean, a couple of you know big guys who can uh, control, but especially control the dressing room. And if they've only got the 50 million because they spent money on Lacazette already, they spent money on Pierre and Obama Young. They're going to be spending money trying to keep some players there on new well, contracts. Well, if you want success, then you have to spend. I mean, we can see. Uh, my city, I mean, they spent big and they've won the league. I mean, Chelsea back in the days, 2004, when Abramovich bought the club. Yeah. They spent big and they, they got success. So, I mean, if you want to, you want to win trophies, then you need to spend. Yeah. Money talks, I guess. Yeah, well, I think, you know, 50 million, it sounds incredible. I'm sorry you're saying this. He it's cost 24.5, <laughs> roughly, and this was in 2005. It was 13 years ago. Yeah, well, that's a quality player. That's a quality, but think how much he would be now. Yeah, he but, would probably yeah. be 50 well, that, million, that, 60. So the, so the point yes, you're saying, to get the quality players now, you're going to have to pay the right money. So yeah. what they're saying doesn't really work out for me. You, you, they, they're a well-run club. They make a lot of money. I'm sure they can dig a, bit, dig a bit deeper than 50 million. You know, the Arsenal fans pay a lot of money to go and watch Arsenal. I think it's the dearest I think it's the dearest ground to go to in the country, in the world, I think, isn't it, in world but it's, football? It's the, uh, it's the issue of the owners, isn't it? They, they are happy to run it as a business. Right. They're unhappy because they haven't got the Champions League. They're losing out of money, so Wenger goes. Yeah, I understand that. But I, do, I still think, yes, it's good to run a good business, but also you've got to think about the fans who come in that door every, every week who mm. want the success. They want, they want to see the success at the new, you know, the new stadium. They haven't had it here, really, have they? No. They've had FA Cups, but they want to see the league back there. But there's a lot of other teams competing as well and if spending I, money as well. If the Arsenal owners were focused on running it as a business. When you were at Chelsea, did you feel that Mr Abramovich was running it for success as a football club or as a business? No, I think he wanted a success. I mean, he wanted to win the trophies as yeah. well. And he was spending big. And I mean, he, he, had a, he had a result that he wanted. I mean, and he's still, he's still spending, so... Did he come by to the to the players, to the dressing room? No, he, come, he comes around every now and then. He comes to the dressing room uh, when we we'll win some games. And, uh, Are all the players quiet? <laughs> Sorry? Are all the players very quiet when he's there? Uh, he's, he's very <laughs> he's very quiet, quiet man himself. He doesn't say a lot. And back then, he, doesn't, he, did, he did not speak uh, very good English, so he's, he was always quiet. But now he's... I think he can uh, express himself uh, yeah. very well. Interesting. Well, just briefly on that note, it doesn't look like Chelsea are willing to spend much money right now either. In uh, <laughs> the past couple of transfer windows, I'm just looking at what's happened with Antonio Conte since you're here. 
They've got a big rebuilding process as well. Uh, they Probably do, not but as big I mean, as they, they still have the players from la, la, last season. They, they were the same players that won the league last season. Mm. They still have them. And if they can keep them and bring one or two, I mean, they can, they can still fight for the title this yeah. season. It's just, it seems to be win the title, finish 10th, win the title. God, it's very it's hard to tell. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. I think Chelsea as well because of the, you know they've got such a great academy. I'd, I'd like yeah. to see them throw a few more uh, younger players into mm. the squads and get opportunities because they have got the talent. There. So maybe they're thinking along the same lines as well. Can we give you an opportunity as well? Like just like Arsenal, maybe have to do next season. 